Enterprise architecture has a value of its own, of course, but it doesn't have to be seen as something done in a silo. It can very much be used to support uh, other management practices to, uh, to help give value to organisations, everything from strategy to operations. When used alongside other practices such as uh, project management, strategy planning uh, or IT governance, for example, these things can leverage each other and be used together to tackle specific industry trends that uh, an organisation might be facing and tackle these things head on. For example, in today's world, businesses are increasingly having to think about how they function effectively in things like these ever-evolving megacities and smart urban environments. So enterprise architecture can be used in conjunction with other parts of the organisation, such as project management and IT governance. And together, they make sure these issues are addressed and bring positive business results. The real message is, is that these practices should be used in collaboration rather than being seen as somehow in competition with each other. And then they should be used, of course, uh, in the environment of the business and adapted and tailored to suit the organisation's specific needs. A really good example of this is the partnership between enterprise architecture and IT service management. So in the open group we've been developing the IT for IT reference architecture for example for managing the business of IT uh, and that's a really good example of how service management and enterprise architecture are working together to bring these practices together and drive business value.